Well, it's Rick here again. And uh, as I talked about in the last video, um, I bought a newer old van, about a hundred thousand miles less on it. So, and hopefully that'll be uh, one to get me through for a few years. But uh, I had to have some work done to it. I'm going to show you the van here in a minute. Um, and I've got some more work I'm going to do to it. But today, what I thought I would do is I need to um, probably work on getting the hitch put on it and the wiring harness for the trailer so that I can, you know, pull my trailer and stuff around. I uh, need to get uh, the ladder racks off the top of this one and um, get them painted. So, don't know if I'll get all that done. We're actually going to go uh, watch the boys basketball team play this this afternoon. Uh, they start playing at noon down here. It's first uh, first game of the season, so got to get out there and see that. So after I get back from that, I thought maybe I'd get in there and work on that a little bit. But um, let me um, let me get out here and walk around. And I'll show you what we got. Of course, uh, on this van, you know, we got ladder racks on it. I'm gonna take these ladder racks off. And uh, they came off of my old Chevrolet van, so I know they'll fit on this one. Just a little adjustment, but I want to paint them because they're getting kind of they're getting kind of rusty. They've been up there for a lot of years. But this is a, a GMC Savannah. They call this. I don't know why that, uh, GMC's version is called a Savannah, but uh, uh, it is. So anyway. Um, I had to get some new tires put on it. The lady I bought it from, I got a pretty good deal on it, I feel like. She told me that the tires were bald, and they were, so. And it had some damage right here. Um, and it had been bondoed up, and and that had broke, and, uh, and it had, uh, uh, it had Wilson's Flower Shop all around, stickers, big pink stickers all over on it. And, and back here, this was, this panel was broke here too as well so so anyway I took it out to Blaze's body shop Joe got it all fixed up and painted buffed up whatever you want to call it or at least the spots he fixed and um, so um, Van is uh, got a seat problem here so I'm gonna take that down to Holtz Claws down at Francisco and get that fixed and uh, you can see it doesn't have anything in it. Now this van does have a rear heater in it. Um, she used it, it was a flower delivery van. So she had a, you can see back there, it's got a rear heater. So um, I don't know if we're gonna keep that in there or not, but uh, it is kind of cool. And uh, these these uh, General Motors vans, like this full-size vans are bigger than them, than that, like that Ford van I've got over there, so. So that's nice. It's more room between the seats here. I'll have to uh, build me a platform here so Gunner's got a place to sit. And uh, as we talked about in the other video, I don't know if Spot will set up here on the dash or not because he's uh, kind of starting to get deteriorated from the sun. So anyway, so we're going to work on that a little bit today. Um, I got the trailer hitch. Of course, it, it's one that mounts down under here, of course, and uh, shouldn't have to take the spare tire out according to the instructions. So we'll see. Um, and then we got to get into this wiring harness right here and plug in um, the lighting system. So for the trailer. So anyway, um, we'll see what else we can get into here in a minute. It's finally a decently warm day for November. More like it normally is with this time of the year. I think I'll have to get the leaf blower out and blow some of these leaves away though before I open up the garage doors or they're all going to go inside. So anyway, talk to you more later.
Okay. What we got here is this. We're going to put the trailer hitch on. The trailer hitch on. Yeah, we're going to do that after a bit. But we're going to put this wiring harness on first so that the trailer can plug in. So um, we have to disconnect on the left side or the driver's side. Sorry. Um, the plug that connects the. The, the lights here and we've got to do the same thing over here on this one on the right side and then we're going to plug these things in run the wires up and across here out of the way and down and then we'll tuck that all back in here and we're going to run the ground wire up under this ground plug then we can fix this so that it comes out here and under the door when we're pulling the trailer and then we can roll it back up and stick it back here when we're not so okay so that's what we're going to do let me see if i can explain briefly if you could what we got to do is pull this apart right here i'm going to ask you to kind of like take a bottle for our coast listeners who have had severe there so that was pretty simple and some of the things you've done. And then we are going to well, actually I haven't told you plug that these, I'm on some of your people these right in it, now. see? I'm trying to get them into trial. I just, I feel I have to do this. Coast to Coast has been good to me. And right now there are... Uh, and then we'll put it down in here. With stem cells. Recruiting in Florida. Now what we're going to do with this one, then we're going to route this up and around. Like I said, so uh, let me get that done and uh, I'll show you what we get, what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so we got that all hooked in. And we got our new wire ran up through here and over. And we hooked, uh, hooked it into this section here. And we put in the ground wire that was required. It already had a, it came with a grounding screw, but I just used the one that was already for the wiring harness for the for the van. So, and then when we get ready to use this, we'll just lay this piece out underneath the door and let it and plug it into the trailer. And then when we're done, we'll tuck it back in here out of the way. So I want to go through and I use these zip ties and kind of tie stuff up out of the way. So I want to go through and cut these off. Uh, uh, a vitamin C, and I forget how much E that is there. It will help you control that spike. Uh, take in a tremendous amount of fat and uh, calories when we're enjoying ourselves. You know, it's a time of festivity, but it's a reality that Thanksgiving produces a great a number of heart attacks. Also, people. Okay, so that ought to take care of that. Our next step will be to take this thing, this recent tow power kit thing, and it's a multi fit, you know, it's supposed to be no welding. So we'll see how that goes. We'll get it put together and get it bolted up under there. And uh, I'll decide whether I want to actually do any welding or not. So, anyway, I'll show you more. He had good genes, or he had terrible genes. And that's what we are for genes. And so, it's like a double action. And how we force that genes to become a slightly less rare genes. Plus, mutations in proteins get passed on from generation to generation. And the genes are all not in the very first size. This technique has been employed to kill the regular genes. They must now. And why does it? I don't mind the fact that genes. This one can be passed on to the child. And the child who is next. Instructions. We might need that. This guy's talking about oxidative stress syndrome, which is what I suffered from. And, uh, How many of us stuff you can do to get away from it so it doesn't turn into Parkinson's? Uh, my, my dad was 88. And, uh, I'm glad that somebody's actually starting to talk about it. Look at them and go. So okay, that that could be me. Well, not my father. Passed away at the age of 50. And I remember, or something, who knows, I never knew him. Uh, all right, let's get all this broke apart here and see what we got. Remember, uh, you know, as my father was at that age. Okay, so this 
book is telling me that that should be the kind of van that this should fit. So if you look at all of this, it talks about drilling a hole. I was in the understanding I wasn't going to have to drill anything. So you can look at all the pieces. We got different width, different. Uh, Spacer blocks, some are tapered, some are oblong, all kinds of different bolts, nuts, well actually, how about bolts, washers, nuts. Anyway, a couple of springs up here, I have no idea what that's for yet. So, and then these two brackets that they don't even talk about. So. Uh, and all of that's got to go down under here and bolt on. So, let me see what I can put together and figure out. I don't know if I've got any big drill bits over here. I may have to go over to, over to the shop. So. Anyway, more later. Okay, since the holes on the frame are not drilled uh, where this universal bracket is supposed to be, the instructions talk about drilling. The one hole is right. This one is in the right spot. And I've got one of these little things up in, in the frame here. So the other hole has to be right here. And so what I did was I laid my bracket up here the way it goes. And then I took my punch and I marked where it's got to go. Took my hammer and hit the hit the punch, made a spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this smaller drill bit here and I'm going to drill a pilot hole. And then I'll take my bigger drill bit and my big drill and we're going to drill a hole. So I'll try to get this on film. On video. I guess that shows my age. Okay. Hold on, John. We're going to come back in a moment. Jonathan Zap with us as we talk about. To access the audio archives of Coast to Coast AM, log on to coasttocoastam.com. Okay, I got it drilled through there. I just couldn't get enough leverage, you know, raising my hand up. You know, I'm getting too old. I can't push that up like that. Never was strong in my arms anyway. I couldn't do a push-up or pull-ups or anything like that in gym class in high school. I just never was strong in my arms. So, anyway, with that being said, so I want to put this large uh, block uh, for this castle bolt. I'm going to put this one in the back one. And I'll put the smaller one in the front one. And that should allow this to go up. Here. So. Okay. so, what we'll do is we'll get. We'll get the nuts and washers put on there, and then we'll torque that down to the right torque value. Okay, well I got them 
drill, uh, both holes drilled on, and I got the brackets in there. Now they're loose because I don't want to tighten them down until I actually get this piece down under there and fit it and get the bolts in it. And then we'll torque them all down to the proper specs. So, Alright, more later. Okay, as you can see I've got it up in there. Uh, I got the I've got the mounting hardware. Of course, it's all still loose. None of it's been torqued yet. You got to torque it to 90 foot pounds, then back it off, and then retorque it to 75 is what it says. So we'll get that done. But right now, what we've got to do is put in the the bolts here, and uh, that's what these little springs that they sent. See these little things that I was that I was saying. I wonder what this is for. Well, I'm going to show you what that's for. I've already got two of the bolts in. I've got the ones in the back. They're already in. The other one is right, right there. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up here, and I'm going to show you what that little spring's for. Cause it's pretty cool, actually. So, anyway, let's see. So we're going to take this spring. Reaches the gap, I think. And we're going to screw this uh, stove bolt, you know, what I'm calling a stove bolt, into this spring. Okay. And we're going to put this little lock bracket through there. Now we're going to slide this all through here I took it didn't say to do this in the instructions but I took and bent my end of it so that when I'm fishing it through there it's got to come out this hole so so here's what we're going to do this is a very important project for a very important uh, thing that right through there. Okay. Now I'm going to work this, this lock plate and nut and bolt through there. Sorry, I think the camera quit there as I was pulling this one in. Can't tell if that's, that's in there right or not. They have tunnels, they have breaks and fences, they have very remote areas of the border. But you still go into places like Keep which is away from where the okay. U.S. Army is, basically, which is mainland in Texas. It's a safer bet for them to try to apply for asylum there, or maybe try to, um, uh, if they are able, to pay a coyote to get across the border. But the truth is that these caravans break up, they disintegrate, and then the, the, uh, the parts to the caravan, they basically scatter. Some will legally try to gain asylum. There. So that's, what, that's how we do it. So I'll, I'll get the rest of these put in on the other side, and then uh, we'll get the torque wrench out and we'll cover that. Okay, Rick here. All right, now, as I said before, the book says to these gnarled bolts, um, some of the words they have little ridges in the back of them that when you press them into these steel, kind of like on a hub, they uh, they keep from turning or whatever. Self-tapping, I don't know what you want to call it. Anyway, they say to torque them to 90, so these three go torque to 90, then back them off and then retorque to 70. Five. And all of the rest of the bolts are all 75. So, so I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to torque it to 90. And yes, I'm not using my ratchet or my snap over uh, torque wrench. I, I just, if you don't have it uh, calibrated regularly, it's probably not any less accurate than this. So, this is a good old craftsman. Uh, so, anyway, that's my opinion. If you think differently, you can certainly comment in the section below and let me know. Uh, also, while you're at it, comment in the section below and let me know whether you think I ought to weld this or not. Um, it's all bolted on there. 
it's supposed to be secure. Um, this is a newer vehicle than I'm used to working on, so I'm concerned about the steel, the actual steel frame of the vehicle being a type of steel that if I get it hot by welding it, is that going to loosen or weaken the strength of it? So I've actually got a buddy that I'm going to contact and ask him about that because it's what he does for a living as weld and and get his take on it. Um, if this was a, a 69 Ford pickup, I'd just weld that thing on there and I wouldn't have a second thought about it. But anyway, comment in the section below if you want to and let me know your thoughts. So anyway, I'm going to run this up to 90 and then, then we're going to back it down and then we'll take it to 75. So there's 80, there's 90. So let's go ahead and get this one. There's 90. Seventy-five, which is right there. Yeah, that's what I thought. This one's turning in the back. I'm going to go ahead and torque the rest of these and then I'll show you when we get done. Well, there you have it, folks. Got the grease pitch put on. And I was going to kind of zoom in so you see the model and everything I'm dealing with here. And the tongue weight and all that. Listen, I'm not pulling big heavy duty trailer. I just got a little trailer. You guys have seen it on my mowing videos. It's just a little. 10 foot tilt bed and then I've got a little 8 foot uh, flat trailer that I got at Home Depot or no I didn't get it there actually but it came from Rule King but I didn't know where I got it from but so it's just a little lightweight trailer that I've got some stock racks on that I haul junk in sometimes so there's not a lot of tongue weight here both of those trailers you can pick up and, and they're pretty well balanced even when you have something on them so anyway uh, Go ahead and comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Um, it really took me about two hours to put this on. Once I got it all figured out, it was pretty easy. You can see there's a whole lot of extra hardware that comes with it because it's a universal uh, kit. So it fits many different things. I got this at AutoZone. Uh, I could have got the same thing through AutoZone online and I also could have got the same thing through Amazon but by the time I I'm not a prime member I don't believe in buying stuff I don't need so just because it's a good deal so uh, I actually just bought it at the store the AutoZone store here locally um, that saved me the shipping so um, anyway so uh, I'll uh, get more of the video later but um, I've got the hitch on now we've got a uh, place to hook the lights up so uh, the next step will be to get the ladder rack on talk to you more later bye
Run to Lula, run. Hi, baby.